In this two-minute tutorial, I will explain how to photograph the moon. If you've ever tried to photograph the moon, whether it be for an upcoming lunar eclipse, a supermoon, or just out of sheer curiosity, you may find it difficult. But with the right gear and technique, you can start capturing beautiful and detailed lunar images. Regarding gear, if you want to capture the highest quality moon photos, a super telephoto lens is almost required. Focal lengths above 300 millimeters will be adequate for moon photography. But to capture the finest surface details, focal lengths above 1,000 mm may be necessary. Most lenses in this focal range are expensive, so using teleconverters to extend the reach of your lens is a good way to save a few bucks. Having the correct camera settings is also important when shooting the moon. If you have ever tried to take a photo of the moon and ended up with a bright white blob, it is because the camera tries to meter for the entire scene, including the black sky, overexposing the moon. This can be solved by using manual mode. For the best picture quality, keep ISO reasonably low, aperture around f8 or f11, and shutter speed just fast enough so that the moon is sharp. The moon moves across the sky faster than you think, so a slow shutter speed may result in a blurry photo. Because of the long focal lengths, using a tripod and shutter release cable will completely eliminate any camera shake. Finally, check the moon's phase as well as its position in the sky if you want a particular shot. A little planning goes a long way. When you photograph the moon, try to include the moon with a landscape or with other contextual objects, like famous landmarks. This will make your image stand out among the countless traditional basic moon photos. I've covered a lot of information in this video, so I made a moon photography cheat sheet with a checklist that you can find in the video description. Subscribe to Apple Apps for more photography content. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to rate the video. Thanks for watching.